Well, welcome back. And um, I'm just going to do a quick review after about four months of ownership of this Parnas GMT stroke Submariner because it is really a mix of the two. Um, and what it's like, what it's like now, how it's fared, the good, the bad, and the ugly. In fact, there's not much bad and there's very little ugly. But I've had a few requests from people and mates during this lockdown who've said, well, what's it like? What's it like? What do you get for that sort of money? Which is nothing really, nothing in terms of money, but a whole lot in terms of the watch. So I'll go through a couple of the bad bits. I, I don't mean, I don't think they're bad, but things that you wouldn't get, obviously if it was a Rolex, but then at that price, you wouldn't expect it. Um, the clasp. The clasp is essentially a Submariner clasp but you can't get your fingernail in here, this, this release. You can't do it. So I have to just pick it up from the side and undo it. It's no real deal, it's not a problem. Um, inside you've got the uh, glide lock system. Works fine, not as smooth, not as creamy as a, a real Rolex, of course. But it works perfectly well. Um, a couple of other bits that I'm a bit sort of not so sure about. They're not bad by any means, and everything I say is, is, is you've got to sort of balance it against the price. You have to. So this was five thousand quid. You'd be very upset. But when it's forty pounds or thirty-nine pounds, I paid fifty dollars or whatever. So what? Um, the crown. It's a bit tight, but it's fairly smooth. But it's just a bit takes a bit of time but it works perfectly well um, the other thing is the bezel I thought the bezel might ease by now it's not difficult by any means but it's it is a bit it's tight but it's very precise and it sticks well and there you are back back to it now let's have a I'm gonna make this quick so Let's have a quick look at this. Look, 316 steel, just as the old Rolexes used to be made. And I, for one, do not know why they've changed. Because this, I use this watch every day. I don't wear it necessarily all day, every day, but I wear it every single day. And it hasn't, in four months, I don't think, apart from a few smudges here and there, there's not a mark on it. No scratches. No dings, no problems, it keeps perfect time. It's ever so slightly fast, perhaps, but I'm not going to get worked up about that either. I can't recommend this highly enough. If you can get one of these watches with this um, clasp, I think, not the Parnas one. Can't speak for them, don't know if they're any good or not. But if you can get one of these, get it. Ju it's just, it's a delight to own. Lovely to wear, gets admiring uh, um, glances. People have asked me, friends around here have said, oh, oh that's a nice watch, what's that? You've bought yourself a Rolex, have you? And no, I haven't. I've bought myself a 50 quid copy, or a 40 pound copy. So, there you go. Um, it is really a Submariner with a GMT function, complication and display, but the GMT works very well. No issues at all. It's dull video, boring video. I wish I could say, oh, it's terrible. But I can't, because it's not. It's absolutely bulletproof. And I love it. And for the money, wow. I mean, really, look at that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, there'll be more along soon. Bye.